how I live stream to YouTube with vMix and live q and I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. This video, it's a live stream. If you're on the live stream, I look forward to hanging out with you all for about the next 45 minutes. If you're watching the archive and you want to get in on future live streams, make sure you've clicked the bell to turn on notifications so you get notified of future live streams. This one's going to be a little different than some of my other live streams because the q and I'm mostly going to be taking at the end of this video. The beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you how I actually do this live streaming to YouTube. I've done other videos where I've shown behind the scenes of my equipment setup, showing you all the hardware and the cameras that I use and how I've got the lights in my studio setup. But today I wanted to take you into the software that I've used to do over a hundred of these live streams. The software is called vMix, and with all of us doing social distancing and staying at home, uh, a lot of people have been asking me what I use to do the live streams, how it works, and so uh, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. If you are here for Q&A, I will say hang on about 15 minutes or so, because I wanna show you around vMix before I take a whole bunch of questions, and if you are only here for the Q&A and you're watching the archive, well, just wait till that little spinning question mark comes up. You can scrub through this and find the spinning question mark. The Q&A time will be after I show you under the covers Wizard of Oz like. And by the way, if I'm turning around a few different ways today, it's because I've got a little bit different setup so that I can show you what's on my screen on this laptop that's here in front of me. And to do that, I am I usually live stream off this one, but today I'm live streaming on this computer. And so I'm gonna click this button and I'm gonna show you the screen here. And we click this and voila. All right, now this, I need to turn off the audio so that you don't get some awful feedback. All right, so now you see the screen that's in front of me. This is what I'm looking at when I do a live stream. By the way, the video is a little bit different here because um, it's a different camera that's in front of me. So the camera, the camera that you're actually seeing on this screen is the camera from my webcam on the laptop. I don't use that typically for live streaming, but there's no way to pipe in my main camera that, uh, let's see, that was that was the wrong button. This button to put me small right there, and then this. All right, so uh, in the little right-hand corner, that's the main camera that I use to live stream, and then the rest of it you see is the webcam on here. All right, so this interface, this software is called vMix. I've used a lot of different software packages to live stream, and this one is really the best one. It is paid software, though they do offer a 60-day free trial if you do want to check it out. That's how I checked it out at first, and I liked it way better than using OBS or a lot of other things I've tried because I find most of those are really unuser friendly. So what you see here, you see two windows on the left and right. You see my video that's twice. And actually, because we're looking at my video this way, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this little me in the corner uh, go away if that's okay with all of you. And oh, by the way, if I'm looking over here on the right, this is because I'm I'm looking at huh, I'm looking at the uh, the chat uh, right over here. All right. And uh, so, yes, and OC Steve says that uh, Chris is on a live feed from Chris. Very meta. It is very meta. And I guess that actually, that didn't, uh, that didn't show up, did it? Why didn't that show up? Well, I don't know. We'll figure out why those comments don't show up later. All right. Uh, so too many, too many computers in too many different places. Okay, so the screen you see here, uh, when vMix starts, it doesn't actually look all this fancy. It doesn't have all these things. When vMix starts as software, it looks uh, like this. It looks pretty boring. And in this pretty boring thing, it's just got two blank screens and two blank interfaces. And then it's got this little thing here that says add an input. And these are all the different inputs you can add into vMix. You can add videos, DVDs, cameras, streaming things, instant replays, images, photos, video delays, titles. And so rather than build up all those things, uh, I'm just going to start by showing you, hey, once I've 
after a hundred videos on vmix how i've ended up building all of this out so all of the things that you see in it and it's super customizable and super flexible there's lots of different ways set up oh and the way i control a lot of this is i've also got this little box right here this is called the x keys it's like uh you could call it like an extra keyboard um so all of the all the different things where you see when I switch or I put up like a comment that's up on the screen like that. When I put up the comment that's up on the screen, I've got a button on this keyboard that I put the, this little thought bubble and that's the one for that. I've got things to anymore when I when I do that you can't hear me anymore that's why I said then when I press talk I can talk I've got other pictures that I can put up on the screen uh, and uh, so those are all different pictures if I want to roll the intro I click those various buttons if I want to roll some stored videos I click these buttons and so now we'll roll into all those different things down here all right uh, so now looking here in the lower left uh, first input HD webcam that would normally be my camera uh, and in order to live stream and bring a uh, camera a good camera in um, you need some sort of a capture card I use uh, uh, these little USB capture HDMI things. They've got a USB interface on one side and it's got an HDMI thing on the other side. The main one I use is by Magewell. This one's a knockoff that I bought on eBay, but it works just as fine. It's a couple hundred bucks to basically digitize the feed from a good camera that has an HDMI output into the computer. Uh, the next one right here, this is the microphone. And so in this case, on this particular thing, the the actual webcam and the microphone are two separate interfaces and then you can see this green thing here means that's where the audio is coming from this uh, right here this custom social title that is the title when somebody leaves a message or a comment that actually gets plumbed in and there's this interface called vmix social so when i look at all the comments that you put in this is the actual screen that i'm looking at related to the comments uh, and so it's a little differently than how you're looking at it but when i want to put one of those things up on the screen uh, like magic of the house tv saying vmix is offering a 90-day free trial i click that button it feeds it into the comment and then i can put that up on the screen after i've pushed my little button right here to turn on and off that title. Um, so that's where the titles come from. And there's a whole fancy title editor to edit the title. This, uh, the one that you actually see on this screen is uh, from previous live streams, but there's a whole title editor in this little hamburger menu and this thing called the title designer where you can uh, create all the different titles and you can create what goes in there and all that stuff. So to create that title, Probably took me a couple hours of putting all these boxes together and making the place for the photo and making the place for the logo. Uh, but that's really nice, being able to make the custom titles. Uh, the next thing uh, that I've got in here, so first one, camera. Second one, microphone. Third thing, uh, social titles. Uh, the fourth one is then the uh, intro that I have. So when I want to play the intro uh, to actually start the live stream, the intro that you all see, I push this button that says number one right up here on the keyboard, and then, well, no, actually I push this button that says intro, not number one. And then you get uh, the live stream countdown. So. I'm not gonna run the whole live stream countdown because you'll be bored. A lot of people ask me how I made the intro. The actual part of the intro uh, that has the Yellow Productions logo, and so now I'm gonna go back to uh, the capture. So the thing that has this Yellow Productions logo here on the left, I use uh, Apple Motion to do that. So that was something I created in Apple Motion to do all of those graphics. And that's a five minute video. Once the video plays, there's then a trigger that changes the input from that video to the camera and then pops up another title that pops up this little title that you see uh, that says it comes up and it says Chris Rainey live. That's what's called an overlay. So it overlays that on screen and then that's on a trigger for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, then that disappears and 
uh, that's that. So that's kind of like how the show begins. And that's how it's all plumbed in. Uh, you'll notice I've got like a clock that's right here. I keep this clock right here so that I can uh, see how long I've been going. I also have a little bit of a countdown. Uh, so, uh, for the people who have joined in not at the beginning, uh, I am paying a little bit of attention to the chat, but people who asked, uh, the questions, I'm gonna take most of the questions, uh, towards the end of this live stream. So, there's also another fate, another interface, uh, that I use to take a look at, uh, what's going on in the live stream. And it's in this thing called YouTube Studio. And I'm going to make this bigger so you can see the whole thing. So when I go in here, then I can see, hey, these are the videos that I have live in YouTube Studio interface. Uh, now, this shows me uh, everything I need to know about the stream. So it's got another chat set up that's over here. And uh, so this is all the chat. So when I type back to you guys, I type in here and say, hey, what's up? Uh, this is where I've actually got the chat. If I uh, wanted to do various things, I can report spam, remove the user, put them in timeout, hide the user on this channel, or I could make them a moderator. Uh, an OC girl is a moderator. Sometimes she helps, uh, you know, ban the trolls as they come in. I can see we've got 88 current viewers right here. 21 people like this. Look, there's 88 of you online right now. I think a few more of you could probably like this video. So if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, analytics, this shows kind of like over time people who have been in the live stream. And then this other one here, stream health. If I've got issues, this and that, then that shows the stream health. And when I'm done with the live stream, then there's this little thing up here to click to end the stream. So that's the background on the YouTube interface. And that I keep uh, up on this second computer that I have over here, or I keep that up on uh, another screen somehow. The next thing I've got in here is uh, the titles, the numbers for the titles. So when you see me put the numbers up on the screen like that, that's a title, and that actually um, advances through different things. So it's got all these different numbers that are in it, and I use uh, the buttons on the keyboard here that are the numbers to control that. So if I actually put that on the main live stream, you'll see, oh, well, I should probably clear the one right here on the main live stream. And I should put a different thing up in that left-hand side. All right, so you see the numbers, and you see them go through. As I click these buttons, those go through. I can reset it to the beginning, and I can make it disappear. So those are all shortcuts that I've put on here to make it so I don't have to do a lot of clicks. That's just another title. Now, sometimes people ask, uh, hey, Chris, how do you do like like teaching on YouTube? And if you've been watching my assumptions videos over the last week, a lot of people said, hey, Chris, maybe you could be a teacher. Well, you know, teachers nowadays, they really like to use PowerPoint. Uh, and and so uh, when I show the pictures up in the corner like this, that's actually a set of PowerPoint slides that are then imported. And then I've set up another box now here on the main live stream. So that's the assumptions going through. And I've set up another set of buttons uh, that you can click through to go through all those different PowerPoint slides. I make these PowerPoint slides in uh, Google Docs, and then I import them into vMix. And so sometimes when people say, hey, can you show me this? Or can you add this? Because in that case, I've got all of them already pre-imported. It's hard to change the order. Uh, and in this case, I've made special buttons to go to the first PowerPoint, to go through them, to hide them, and to show them. So that's what those various buttons do. And then all these different videos that you see in the list here, these are uh, all of the like random clips that I show. So sometimes, uh, let's see, at the end of another live stream, I was showing uh, the Mellow Vista channel. And so I was showing this Mellow Vista of this river uh, or maybe like some of the aerial scenes. I don't remember what particular video this one came from. Maybe I was talking about like Singapore, uh, right? I've got some shots of Hong Kong. So the 20 videos that are in there, that's what these buttons at the top correspond to. So I can show all the different videos by just a click of a button up here. And I load those all in, so I'm not having to fumble around. Doing a live stream, it's really important to be able to do things quickly so that you all don't see me sitting here going blah, blah, blah. So then uh, when it's 
the end of the show, I've got a button on this button pad uh, that says outro. When I click the outro button, it rolls the outro that you've all seen. Uh, and so rest assured, it is not the end of the video, but uh, that's what you see when you see the outro. Now, uh, VMix also has this ability to bring in multiple callers. And so this is one that I've got set up to do split screen. If I had a vMix call set up, then the other person would be, oh, right here in this little thing. Uh, I mentioned uh, I got ways to bring in some various pictures. So I, I called them just for sanity's sake. I call the pictures, oh, I should, I should make myself big again. Uh, the pictures, oh, that's the advanced things of an interface, which we're not going to get into in this case. Um, and let's cut that quick play and turn the overlay off. All right, there I go twice. So then if I click the things on the keyboard, you can see these pictures right here, but then I get B, hey, you get the Yellow Productions crew, you get some socks, and you get a highlighted comment because those are things that I brought in before. Uh, and... Uh, then the final final two things down here, uh, the desktop capture that you see, that's what I'm using right now to do this desktop capture. It actually is capturing the desktop on this computer and piping it over to this computer. And uh, then there's a little question mark spinner, um, which was an animated thing that I created in the title designer. And in that case, I just put up this little question mark right here to get that question spinner right there. So that's that's kind of a whirlwind tour of how I've got vMix set up. It's like there's a whole ton of things in here. You can stream to multiple different um providers so you can stream uh, to three different places at once you can stream to youtube you can stream to facebook you can stream various places you can set all those things up with the stream keys that are in here you can record multiple cameras you can record the video files uh, and so I just, I love the flexibility and I love the ease of use. So if you're looking for something to do live streaming, uh, check out vMix. And, uh, as somebody mentioned, uh, it has a 90 day trial right now. All right. So that's the whirlwind tour of vMix. That means now it is time for questions, questions and answers. All right. So let me bring up, uh, my vMix social interface so that I can see what you all are saying now. And so that we can take some questions. Uh, I'm going to scroll back to where I saw some questions. And uh, let's see. So try to do these in some sort of reasonable order. And if I'm turning back and forth, it's so that I make sure the question is up there. All right. Henry asks if I use Final Cut Pro. The primary editing software that I use is actually called uh, Vegas. It used to be owned by Sony. Now it's by a company called Magix. Uh, that's what I primarily use for editing unless I'm um, editing on the road. And if I'm editing on the road on my laptop, I've got this MacBook Pro that I travel with. And in that case, I do use Final Cut Pro on the laptop. But I like Sony Vegas because it's quicker. Um, all right. Uh, Cherry says, uh, we are still looking for a day in the life. Thank you, Cherry. I have not forgotten about that request. Um, let's see. Uh, right. It was Magic of the Mouse that said vMix is offering a 90-day trial during the crisis. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, Jordan wants to know if I can do a stream on my favorite airports. Uh, okay. I will add that to my topic list. Thane says, my wife says I should ask you a question. So I should ask a question, right? Right. You should definitely ask a question. Uh, Tony uh, is coming in from the Bay Area. Keep up the great work, bringing happiness to us and your baby daughter's a cutie. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Yoshi wants to know what songs I use in the live stream intro. Uh, in the description of the live stream, uh, I say what song that is. But uh, if you want to know exactly what song that is, it is called, bum, bum, bum. Uh, there's two songs, Paris Tour Eiffel and Vegas Shuffle. Those are the songs in the intro. Um, and uh, Christopher said, who said men can't multitask? I don't know who said that yet. A lot of things going on in the live stream. And if you're trying to do the live stream 
all one person, it's really important to have it all set up to easy click buttons. And so sometimes uh, if people say, Chris, why are you ignoring my comment? I'm never ignoring anybody's comment, but there's about 18 things to look at at once, uh, including questions, comments, what the live stream status is, what the technical issues are. And so sometimes I, I miss them, but not because I ignored them. The city skylines, uh, those are stock footage. Uh, I get those from a stock footage site uh, called, what's it called? Storyblocks, I think is what it's called. It is called Storyblocks. Uh, so I license those videos from Storyblocks. Uh, and I put all, like I went through there and spent a bunch of time looking at some of the things. And those are all places uh, that we've been to on our travel, some of our favorite cities. And the initial one I made just had the flyovers. And I'm like, oh, but it'd be cool to say what those are in the bottom. So that's something that I made in Vegas. I put those clips together to make that intro. Um, Wu Tai says uh, he wish he invested his YouTube money better on cool gadgets before the crash yeah if you're not uh following uh the crash the like ad revenue on youtube has just gone uh way down and views uh as particularly in the travel segment have gone uh way down too jason says on april 7th t tsa uh, had a record low number of passenger screenings Tuesday, saw 97,000 screenings compared to 2 million exactly one day prior. I believe it. Uh, Grandpa Richard said his mind is blown by everything. Well, uh, I, I guess that's a compliment. So, yeah, I thought, you you know, it'd be, you always see the front side, so I thought it would be neat to take a look at the back side of the live stream. Um, Yoshi Elevator says, hey, hey. Uh, H says, thank you for pulling back the curtain. My, my pleasure. Um, and uh, Wu Tai says he needs more Mac items for sure. Uh, yeah, I like Windows for the main desktop and editing and software, but I like the Mac best for travel. Um, the Uniplex says you have no problem using Zoom. I don't use Zoom. There's a whole bunch of like security issues related to Zoom, so uh, I am not a fan of Zoom. Larry uh, says, Chris, is there any good buffets in San Diego? Um, I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Great buffets in Las Vegas. You know, I, I'm not sure where great buffets are otherwise. Uh, and uh, Kathy said those are the pictures of her socks. Absolutely. Uh, Kathy says it must have taken ages to set it all up. It's taken, uh, say, after doing 100 live streams on vMix, and I've been doing these for a couple years, it has taken a while to get it set up to the way I want and, you know, con configure this button box to the way I want. And those are all custom labels. And they're sort of one of the, you know, it's not like a do it yourself. Oh, just make it like this. I'm like, I don't know. What makes the most sense for me? And what should these buttons say? And what should they do? Uh, and I just know, like, when I look at things, it helps me to look at other people's videos. So if you're in a place where you're wondering, uh, you want to set some stuff up, well, hopefully uh, it helps you out. Or just solves the curiosity of what is he always pushing when he's pushing things down there. Uh, Roadhouse says, thank you for the awesome tour of how you make this happen. My pleasure, Roadhouse. Stoic says, I love all your Vegas content. What's the best place to live in the greater Las Vegas area? Summerlin, Southern Highlands, is Steve Wynn really... Uh, blind. I don't live in Vegas, so I probably couldn't tell you where the best place to live in Vegas is. If there's anybody on the live stream that does live in Vegas and has an opinion, uh, please help a fellow explorer out. And I, I don't know about Steve Wynn. DLP Productions says, how do you learn all your techniques? Trial and error, I guess. Uh, watching other people's YouTube videos where they talk about it. Uh, like I actually never found a really good YouTube video about how to use vMix and how – like I've seen people that talk about using this but not a good thing about how they've set it up personally. So that's, uh, that's figured why I would do this today. Emmett asks if I was always good with video production or it took some time. It definitely took some time. I mean, I think if you look at – like if, if you look at the live streams when I first started them a couple of years ago, it was like I think Christmas two years ago was my first live stream in front of our Christmas tree in the living room. It was not a fantastic live stream. Uh, my dad, his background is in wedding uh, videography. So as a, as a youngin, I would help him out shoot videos for weddings. Uh, but it took a lot of learning about how to do, you know, how to set up the studio, how to do microphones, how to do the video, how to get the capture cards, what's the right capture card, which one works, video formats, resolutions. Um, 
And uh, so Magic of the Mouse says, I'm watching your stream, and VMix is also live streaming right now. I've got you both on. That's very cool. Yeah, VMix does their uh, fun time live show, right? Maybe that's the one that they do. OC Steve says, with the San Diego Convention Center being used as an auxiliary location for the homeless, do you think Comic-Con will be canceled? I, I have very little hope uh, for Comic-Con going on as planned. Uh, Eric asks, uh, where did I find the intro and outro songs? I especially like the outro. Uh, so I, I licensed my music from Universal Music. It used to be called Killer Tracks. Uh, so I pay them an annual fee to license the music. So all of the music that you hear in, uh, in my YouTube videos is licensed from Universal Music. Uh, and that's one of the things, if, you, if you're if you doing YouTube videos and you want your music not to end up with a copyright strike, then you have to license it. And good music actually isn't cheap. Uh, Yoshi asks if we can say hi to Topher. You absolutely can say hi to Topher. Maybe you want to say hi to this Topher right here. Uh, he's a cute little one with that. All right. Hi, hi. Hi, Yoshi. All right. Uh, Samir asks if I get monetized for live streams. Uh, the live streams are monetized, though the interesting thing about monetization for YouTube is, like, it's not like a one-size-fits-all. People often say things like, oh, this video got a million views, so it must have made X amount of dollars. And it, the monetization on YouTube really is based upon... Uh, like it's like an auction type system. So as people are putting dollars against keywords, the more competitive that keyword is, the more money the ads cost, the more revenue is made from a video. Uh, most of the topics I do of live streams, I think are ones that people aren't putting a lot of ad dollars against. So none of my live streams have uh, made near the ad revenue as say my five worst cheap hotels in Las Vegas. That one's also gotten two million views, uh, but there are a lot of people, there's a lot of companies that are trying to market to people in Las Vegas and people against hotels. And this was not something that I really knew of before maybe I made a video like that and saw that um, the, the actual um, revenue per thousand views was higher on a video like that than a lot of them. And Japan, which is like my favorite series, there's very few people that place ads against uh, videos in Japan. So like it might be, I like to feed the deer in Nara, Japan, but nobody's placing ads against feeding the deer in Nara, Japan. Johnny uh, says, good morning uh, from lockdown Bangkok. Good morning, Johnny. Uh, and actually, as a side note, an interesting thing about uh, live streams and uh, is that um, – I don't know. Like, I, like there's a lot of you on the live stream, and I love all of you that are here, and I love all of you that watch the archive. But from a subscriber perspective, live streams, they don't earn me more subscribers. I actually get I – get, I get negative subscribers from live streams because – like a, across 188,000 people, there's probably people that subscribe to Yellow Productions because they want to go to Las Vegas or they were going to Hawaii. They're like, I want to bookmark this guy. And after I do four live streams in a week and they get a notification or this and that, maybe it annoys them. And so they unsubscribe. So actually doing the live streams this week, I have, I have lost subscribers as opposed to gaining subscribers. But what I'll say to that is I don't think those are my valuable subscribers. And so I'm okay losing them uh, because I have all of you that are watching the live streams. Larry says, Chris, is there a good free thing to do in Vegas when they are open? I have a video all about free things to do in Las Vegas. So uh, I would encourage you to check that out. What am I drinking today? Today I am drinking some fruit water. This was a fruit tea once upon a time from a, like a Taiwanese boba shop and I drank all the fruit tea. And now I added water in it to make the water kind of a fruit-infused water. Figure I'm staying healthy. Uh, Magic of the Mouse uh, uses vMix, says, uh, I'm okay with the basics, trying to learn the auto triggers now. Yeah, the auto triggers kind of help you do all that, this, that shortcut, do this after 10 seconds, blah, blah, blah. You know, I know some people, uh, like, like, will... Um, on a chat, like flash lights and things like that. I haven't quite got there because I, I don't know that it uh, adds a lot of value. DLP Productions asks if I can bring out more food videos in Los Angeles. Uh, once we can get um, back 
into the world again to eat at restaurants, uh, absolutely. I think you will see more kind of localish food videos. Jun asks if we're stocking up on food and diapers. Uh, definitely on food, diapers, we have about 600 diapers in the garage. So, yes, we have plenty of diapers and also baby formula. Uh, Brian27 says, you look so nice. Thank you, Brian. I've been trying to keep my skin pampered. Um, Brian says... Uh, what are your thoughts on the DJI Osmo Pocket to hopefully vlog like me someday? Uh, I think the DJI Osmo Pocket is good for B-roll. And what I mean by that is I think it's good for getting like walking scenes. It's good for kind of getting stuff that isn't shaky. The microphone on the DJI Osmo Pocket is pretty lousy. So one of the most important things for vlogging is people being able to hear you. Uh, if you want to know what I think about cameras, uh, if you search for like Yellow Productions Best Camera, um, you'll find uh, a whole video that I did with a whole bunch of other YouTubers about their favorite cameras for vlogging, for travel vlogging. And uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket is always a secondary camera and not a primary camera. Larry uh, asked if I will give a tour of uh, my house. Probably not, because uh, maybe that's a little private. Uh, but if you want to see uh, a house, an apartment uh, that I used to live in, uh, I did a tour of an apartment in uh, Washington, D.C. that I lived in. So uh, search for Yellow Productions Crib, C-R-I-B. I did it like MTV Crib style, so you can take a look at that one. Jason asks when I'll be back on the road traveling and make more content to share with all of us. Uh, back on the road traveling, that that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Like, when's this? Like, I don't think anybody knows when the whole coronavirus pandemic is going to be over. Uh, I would hope like late summertime, maybe. Uh, the good news is I have tons of travel content that we've shot from previous trips uh, to edit, and it's actually. Next week, I think I'll probably do one live stream next week, unless a whole bunch of you on here are like, Chris, please do in them. But uh, otherwise, I was just probably going to do one on Monday and then spend some time the rest of the week actually editing some travel videos in the backlog so I can get out some more travel videos to you guys. Um, Yoshi asked, why can't we use Super Chats? Uh, just because I have not turned them on. Um, TLP Production says it would be cool if you can make more famous restaurants from Los Angeles. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Sean asked when I started using vMix for live streams. Probably about two years ago. Uh, if you watch my video on uh, basic and advanced live streaming setup. I've pinned it in the comment and it's also in the description. Like I sort of talk about the evolution that I went on on doing live streams from, you know, starting streaming on uh, like a phone to streaming on an iPad uh, to streaming like using OBS, which is like a, some free software to ultimately getting some paid software that just works so much better. Gamer Boy asks, where is Topher? Uh, the Topher crew, the Yellow Productions crew is right here, always. Uh, okay. Um, da, 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 da. Jake McShane, uh, and I think Jake got a new icon for uh, YouTube, so that's great, Jake. I love, I love the icon there. Do I read books very often? If so, what kind of books do you like? I am not very much of a book reader. Um, I would say like printed form, like printed stuff. I read probably like Wired Magazine and Popular Science. Uh, like I read tons of stuff online, but I think I have some, I have some weird like eye condition where uh, reading books because I like the font small and I have to get them close enough that I end up getting really bad headaches from reading books, and so that's why I can't, I can't really read books or read printed things for more than 15 minutes without getting the world's worst headache. And it comes from, you know, most of you, like if you took your finger and you brought it close to you, like both of your eyes could follow that finger, but not me. This eye's looking at it and this eye's looking over here. I'm trying with both of my eyes to look at that finger, but for the life of me, I cannot get them to focus on it. So, uh, Jun, uh, Oh, but I should say one more thing to Jake. Uh, so I do listen to audiobooks, though, and so probably one of my favorite books ever, and I listen to it on audiobook, is uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
Jun says, can you say hi to my wife, Ashley? We watched all your Vegas videos before planning our first vacation together uh, to Vegas. Hi, Ashley. Uh, thanks for watching the live stream today. Chris asks, what's my prediction for when Disneyland opens back up? Do you think you'll be there on opening day? Uh, if so, please do a live stream. I would guess June. I would guess that June is my crystal ball guess. Um, but uh, actually, our annual pass has lapsed uh, in February, so we will not um, we will not uh, not be doing a live stream when they do reopen because we're probably not actually going back to Disneyland for a little bit. Uh, though I do got a few Disneyland videos that I need to edit too from when we still had passes. Uh, Kathy says she doesn't mind one live stream as long as we get more videos. Absolutely more videos. Uh, Larry says, Chris, uh, do you play uh, video games? So I like PC games. Now I spend most of my free time either shooting or editing YouTube videos. And so I don't have as, uh, much time to play video games but uh, one of the things that I did want to share with all of you is in the live stream yesterday, a lot of people were asking about Dance Dance Revolution and said, hey, it would be really cool if uh, like they could see me play some Dance Dance Revolution. So I wanted to show you guys a couple minutes of me playing Dance Dance Revolution that was uh, actually uh, aired on Japanese television. Uh, so let's take a look at this for about a minute and then I'll be right back with you. ダンスダンスレボリューションだ。どういうと軽やかなステップを見せ、どんどん得点していくクリス。難しい。さすがはアメリカ切手のラウンド<笑> そこにスーツ姿の男性が。<笑><笑> All right, so there we go. Uh, that's what it looks like when I played Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, that was on a Japanese uh, TV show all about round one, this Japanese arcade uh, here in... Southern California, but they have locations all across Japan and all across the U.S., and so I was giving uh, Japanese people a tour of uh, that particular arcade and what a round one, what a Japanese arcade looks like in uh, the U.S. Yoshi asks, how do I make thumbnails? I use Adobe Photoshop uh, to make thumbnails. Emmett Brown says, uh, it's funny... I mentioned getting subscribers from my Vegas videos. I'm totally guilty of that, but I had to stay because my fun personality to watch travel. That's awesome, Emmett. Yeah, I think my Vegas videos are like the gateway drug into Yellow Productions. Uh, Polish NY says, Chris, what headset are you wearing? The headset that I'm wearing is a... Ooh, we have an echo. The headset that I'm wearing is a Audio-Technica headset. Um, I don't have the exact model number because it doesn't say it on it but it's by Audio-Technica. Um, mm -hmm. uh, OC Steve says, uh, with the minimal downtime, are you playing any video games or watching anime? Uh, the thing we've been doing recently, we uh, binged watched uh, Star Trek Picard, which we really enjoyed, and we're starting up uh, Westworld Season 3 which I don't know if any of you watch Westworld. We just watched episode one of season three, and it seems like season three was written by completely different people than season one and two, but maybe because we haven't really got into it, but the first episode of season three was weird. Emmett said, I've never played Dance Dance Revolution, but it looks like you killed it. Thanks, Emmett. Yeah, I've been playing Dance Dance Revolution for a very long time. Uh, and Jason also found me from a Vegas video right on. Matt wants to know when that video was filmed. Uh, that was... Um, what is it now? April. I think we I think we shot that in November. So it was uh, recently. Alex joined in the live stream from Singapore. Awesome. Welcome from hot and humid Singapore. Uh, 
Lilica says, uh, would you ever do an Africa travel video? You always in Asian and European cities, most of the videos. Uh, we don't have current plans to Africa. I think it'd be maybe neat to visit like Johannesburg or something, uh, but uh, it's not on our immediate things. The Uniplex says, I've been watching since my Maui video. It must be 10 years old. Uh, eight years, maybe, something like that. Yeah, I first YouTube video I uploaded was... Uh, for Norway in 2008. So that's our uh, first video uploaded to YouTube. Um, what? Let's see. Uh, H says, uh, love Westworld. Keep watching. Episode 4 is OMG. All right, we've got uh, some hope, I guess, to come to. And the Uniplex says, we should watch Tiger King. And Vic says, have you watched Tiger King? All right, we'll, we'll take a note of that. Uh, and Kathy says, uh, changed our laptop. I am so much bigger. All right, that's uh, that's good to hear that I'm bigger. I was trying to look and see if I was small back there. All right, so now it is the time in the live stream to give away a Yellow Productions t-shirt, uh, just like I always do on these live streams. So I mentioned earlier this week that the t-shirts I would be giving away would be based on things I've posted to Instagram and Facebook. And so I posted a picture within the last hour uh, and my question to you, if you've looked at that picture, you'll know the answer to this. My question to you is in the Winnipeg airport, uh, how are they telling people to socially distance themselves? What measure are they using? Because they're not using a measure of meters or feet in Winnipeg. They're using a different measure. So if you can tell me what that measure is, you will win a Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt shipped to you anywhere in the world. Uh, if you've not got a chance to uh, get in on uh, one to win, you can uh, buy them through my Etsy shop. There's a link in the description or in the comment section uh, to the Etsy shop. Uh, and every one of you that have purchased it, I really appreciate it because uh, each one of those purchases uh, goes to support the channel. Uh, Jason asks, what's my favorite video that I've ever made? I think one of my favorites is um, feeding the deer in Nara, Japan. Uh, I love feeding the deer that's there. <laughs> Boy, impressive. Uh, Ricky is going to win all of the merchandise. Ricky is the winner. Uh, but uh, Jake McShane came in a close second, and the answer is yes, one polar bear apart. Uh, they actually have some little carpets uh, that they've put in Winnipeg uh, that have a polar bear on them as they tell people to maintain, that's not focusing is it, to maintain one polar bear length away from people. All right, well, Ricky, you definitely know how to contact me, so uh, let me know what you want this time. Just so everybody knows, the last item that Ricky requested uh, was not a t-shirt, but he requested the Yellow Productions baby onesie. So awesome. That is one of the options. Uh, you can get the Yellow Productions crew t-shirt, the embroidered t-shirt, or the Yellow Productions onesies. Uh, and uh, Emmett said he took a guess. He doesn't do social media. The thing is, if you just want to look at my Instagram page, you don't need to be logged in or anything like that. You'll find the link in the description below uh, if you want to do that. Uh, Vic asked, which company do I use to design the T-shirt? Actually, um, to design the shirt, to make the art, um, I uh, commissioned an artist on Fiverr. Dot com. Uh, he's the same guy that I use to make the Office Survival Guide logo. Um, and then once I got the artwork, the company that I use to print the shirts is called Printful. Uh, and the reason why I use Printful is because uh, it allows me to drop ship them to all of you. At one of the things for like merchandise that's hard, uh, like a lot of websites, a lot of merchandise or t-shirt companies assume that... Um, you're either going to get all the merchandise and mail them to people or uh, people are going to buy them from the website using their credit card. But I wanted to use my credit card to just uh, ship them directly to you so that I don't have to go to the post office. I don't know about you. I hate the post office. So that's why I really uh, I really like Printful. Uh, Damon asks, what kind of stroller uh, do we have for our little explorer? A great question. We have the Uppa Baby Cruise stroller. I think a future video that I'll do is probably about some of the gear uh, that we've got uh, for our little explorer. All right. So with that, uh, we are now 
45 minutes in the live stream, which is just how long this one was going to take. Uh, we've given away a t-shirt. You've seen behind the scenes of how to use vMix. Now, I hope everybody, wherever you are, you are staying uh, safe, you are staying healthy, uh, and when we get to continue traveling again, hope you'll all resume traveling. Until then, if you wonder when the next live stream is going to be, next live stream is going to be Monday, probably about 7 uh, Los Angeles time, about 7 p.m. Los Angeles time. Uh, stay tuned, though, for things like that, um, and... Uh, and the last one, uh, Matt Bailey is late. He said, how do I make the comments appear? Uh, so I've got, uh, like, in the archive, I went over it for a great detail. But using the software called vMix, I pull in this thing called vMix Social. vMix Social allows you to bring in the comments. And then I've, I've also got this little button on this uh, pad right here to put those comments up and down and make them go away. So... That's it. But if you watch the archive, then you'll see I show vMix Social and how that all works. And so because we're doing behind the scenes stuff, you all want to know, we're going to drop the question mark away and we're going to roll the outro. So with that, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.